Hey there. Hi, I'm Ashley. If we haven't met yet, welcome to Joyful Noise Learning. I am a homeschool mom to three kiddos, and today we're going to talk about math. I have picked our math for the next school year, which is 2023-2024, and I would love to share with you what we've got for my kiddos. Okay, my kids are going to be in third, fifth, and seventh grade next year, but I'm so excited that I finally landed on what we're going to be doing for math. And I will admit, I struggle with picking math every year. I go back and forth with, am I going to have my kids be independent? Are they going to do something on their own or maybe have some kind of math teacher who teaches them online? Or am I going to do it with them? What are we going to do? And what I do know about myself is I am stronger personally in the English and history, social studies, aspects. I love those subjects and I love teaching them myself and I, I find joy from it and it's fun and it's easy for me. Uh, but math is not as easy and I'm not as comfortable with teaching it. <laughs> so especially as my kids get older, I am trying to lean more towards some independent type math so they won't need me as much. Plus I've tried, I've tried explaining things to them and they're just like, what? <laughs> they look at me. What mom? What? Why? Why? Anyway, so maybe you're like me and you're looking for something like that. But here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to share what I'm doing with my third grader. Then I'll share what I'm doing with my seventh grader. And then we'll end with my fifth grader and what I've decided to switch to for him. So we're making some switches here for this next year. First off, for my third grader, we're not switching. Yay! I am using math with confidence with him. He's been using that since kindergarten math. So he's done kindergarten first and second. He's finishing up right now. So we are going to continue with that and move into third. I love this because he and I do fairly well together with this. I love how Math with Confidence teaches me how to teach math. And it's still the lower level math that I confidently know. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we love playing the games with it. And it's short lessons with a short workbook page. And I feel like it's just the right amount of work. And so we're just going to continue with that. <laughs> So I'm really happy with that. I will talk about Math with Confidence all day long, uh, but that is what he's going to continue to use. That was, the, <laughs> that was the easy one. Now we're gonna talk about my seventh grader. So my seventh grader has been fairly independent with math for the last few years. She has been using Nicole the Math Lady this year and with Saxon. She's been doing Saxon 7-6. And while I like Nicole the Math Lady, love her lessons, love the videos, I like how they're short uh, and easy to understand. She makes it fun and interesting. Uh, I don't love the spiral, spiral approach the way that Saxon is doing their math, mainly because when she gets to some lessons, she'll be doing her review. So if you don't know how Saxon works, they have, uh, they have lesson practice, which is like six problems that go with what she just learned in the lesson. And then she does, you know, about 30, 15 to 30 problems uh, for the review. The only thing is when she gets to some of those problems in the review, some of it is from like 16 lessons ago, or it seems like it, just several lessons before, and she doesn't remember how to do it. So she has to go back to that lesson, read it again, and then try it again. So again, I'm thankful she's mostly independent with that, but there's many times she will just not get it and not, and not tell me sometimes. So I've been working with her, uh, working on those things that she's not getting, and we're having to go back to previous lessons to try to figure it out. She, she might even rewatch the videos or she'll do it through the book. We've decided to switch to something else. So we're going to be using Fundamentals of Math from BJU Press. And this is a heavy book. Yeah, but good, good quality. So this is the math recommended for seventh graders uh, from BJU Press. And I had the privilege of seeing their studios. You can watch that video if you want to watch that there. But with BJU Press, with the math, it comes with video lessons, or we've decided to use the video lessons. You, you don't have to. You can use the teacher's guide for it and teach it yourself, but I don't know, I got time for that. <laughs> um, I really need somebody else to teach my daughter math. And I would love a little bit more in-depth teaching. And this is also going to be biblically based, which is great. Nothing wrong with that. And the math teacher is going to use a lot more examples. And it's going to be all independent so she can watch her lesson. She can check it off on the Homeschool Hub, which is a really cool resource that I found from BJU Press. Uh, she's already using her science with it. And it's been going really great. Uh, and she will be using that for her math. So we're 
she's not quite ready for pre-algebra yet. I assume she'll do that next year for her eighth grade year. And then lastly, she's going to also do some Life of Fred, probably fractions and decimals. Yeah, the decimals and percentages go together. So we love Life of Fred here. Um, those are the levels that are a little bit too high for my boys. So we're not going to do it all together anymore, but she's going to do Life of Fred on her own as she heads towards getting ready for algebra. So that's what we're going to use for math for my seventh grader. All right, now I'm going to share for my fifth grader what we're doing for math next year. And this was a really hard decision. I was using the pilot program for math with confidence. We've been doing that since second grade math. Uh, he was able to use the math before it was out and we got to test pilot it basically. And this year with the fifth grade math, we noticed that he was just feeling like he couldn't go at his own pace. Uh, he felt very behind when he saw how many units he still had to do and we're coming towards the end of the year. There's a lot of factors that goes into it. Uh, partially because we only do four days of week of school and we have co-op some weeks. So next year we're, we're going to work on that a little bit better, work being consistent with our math lessons. I'm finding he was asking to be more independent. He didn't love having to depend on me and I didn't love having to sit with him while he did his math <laughs> for some of the time. He also struggles with reading and writing. We were just not able to keep up with the lessons in order to give timely feedback for the pilot group. So we're really sad to leave the pilot group. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going to miss doing it. Uh, but it will be nice to be have that load off of my shoulders and that he can do something completely independent. And it will be graded online as well. So we are returning back to teaching textbooks. So he's excited for it. We looked at it. We were trying to decide between that and Math Lessons for Living Education from Masterbooks, but he just really did not want to do a lot of writing. And I know he needs more practice with it. He does writing in other areas, uh, but we were okay with doing computer lessons again for him with math. Also, it's great because it reads it to him because, you know, he has struggled with slower reading. So it reads it to him and then he has the practice problems on the computer and he can input the answer just on the keyboard there. He doesn't have to write anything. And I think he feels like he'll be able to go through a whole lot quicker uh, than the lessons that we were doing uh, on the paper in the book. So he's excited for the short lessons. Uh, I tested him and he's going to do math six, actually, because his his level of math is actually fairly high. He actually does understand math well. Uh, it's just the actual lessons that take a long time. So he is going to be doing just fine after he finishes Math with Confidence 4 or fourth grade Math with Confidence. We're going to finish up with that, probably work on it over the summer. But once that's done, he will start into Math 6 with teaching textbooks. So we're excited to jump back in with that again. And I'm thankful he's going to be a bit more independent and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> And again, I also still love Life of Fred. So he has been reading the elementary uh, Life of Fred books, but we've already gone through all those. And I think his math is getting beyond the elementary Life of Fred books. So maybe in a few months, he's going to be using the fractions and decimals as well with Life of Fred for getting ready for algebra in the next coming years. Yeah, yeah. So we love Life of Fred and we've been using it for the last several years. Uh, but I'm excited for him to read it independently instead of me reading it to him. And I think the the Life of Fred will be a nice like real life, like actual real life math application to go along with what he's learning with teaching textbooks with the algorithms and, and basic math concepts and stuff. So there you go. That is what our family is using for math this coming year. And I'm so glad I've decided that was that was really hard, guys. <laughs> that took me a while. And I maybe if you're like me, you don't like deciding on math because you're always like, ah, I don't want to switch again. Because maybe if you've been following me a while, you may have seen me switch a lot with math. I try to go with what my kids' strengths are and what their weaknesses are and what works best for them being coming more independent. And I'm really excited for them to grow in that area. And again, I'm, I'm excited to be able to continue to focus on math with my third grader. So he's not quite ready to be independent and that's fine. Actually, he would. He probably would be fine if he did some independent stuff. He's actually a pretty independent kid. But I enjoy that time that I have with him right now uh, before he does move into more independent math work. So thank you so much for watching. I've got several videos on how we do math with confidence and teaching textbooks as well. And I will have more videos coming up on how fundamentals in math with BJU Press is going. Uh, if you would like a video on Life of Fred, let me know. I don't have any videos 
talking about Life of Fred, I just realized. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to know more about that. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and you guys go find his joy among the noise. We'll see you in the next one.